guys, it's Rachel. Just wanted to share with you um, our three reading programs that we have and kind of the differences between them, um, all of them helping beginner readers learn how to read. Um, so first I'll give you kind of an overview of each of them and the differences between them and then I'll go into what um, they look like on the inside. Um, so this is the first one. This is the Start to Read pack. Um, this one has eight different paperback books um, on four different levels, so moving two books per level. Um, it has an alphabet chart and an activity book to go along with it. And this one is $39.99. This one is designed for children who are still learning their letter sounds. Um, so then the next one is the very first reading program. Uh, the very first reading set has 15 hardback books and this one is $16.99. I'm sorry, $69.99. And the and and a parent reading um, guide to go along with it. It also has a an online uh, website that you can visit to download free activities and word banks and worksheets for for the child to do along with the books. Um, and then the last one that we have is the first reading program, and this one is fifty nine ninety nine. This one has ten hardback books in it, um, and and the box as well, and then also the parent reading guide also. Um, this one would be once they've kind of already started feeling comfortable with their letter sounds. Um, once they kind of are already feeling comfortable with reading on their own and, and kind of getting the hang of things, uh, that's when you'd move into the first reading box. So they kind of go in order with each other here. Um, so I'll show you the insides of them. These two have very silly stories designed to go with them, uh, make kids laugh. And then this last one has a lot of um, it has a good variety, so they have nonfiction, um, some Aesop stories, uh, and then stories from around the world that they get to, to be familiar with. So um, this is the first book in the Start to Read pack and also the first book in the very first reading set. So they're both on the same level to start with. And again, this one just moves two, book per, two books per level, whereas this one moves one book per level. So the very first reading set will actually have the the first four books are going to be four of the same books within the Start to Read pack. They're just going to have a duplicate um, book for each of those levels. So this is Pirate Pat, and I want to show you the insides of so you get an idea of what the books look like. So at the very beginning, they give you an idea of how this book works. So they work with the parent to understand, okay, the parent reads the top and the child reads the bottom. And then on the back, they also have a list of the books, but then they also have some guidance notes for the parents as well. Um, notice they go through only eight letters in this very first book. So if your child either knows those eight letter sounds or can learn them quickly enough, then they can read this book with you. Um, so this is a fantastic uh, introduction. So it starts off. The night, this is the parent reading, the night was cold, the sky was black, the, rind the window rattled, and the child reads tap, tap, tap. And it just goes on for a funny, cute um, story about this pirate that decides that um, this is the home where his treasure map is showing him to dig for treasure, so the grand doesn't want him to dig, so it's really cute. And then at the very end of the story, um, of each of our books in these series, they have a reading comprehension puzzle. Um, some of them have two, most of them have three. Um, so this specific one is having them to retell the story. Um, the next, the second puzzle in this book would be for them to read the two words and then tell you which one goes along with the picture. Um, and then the third one is a rhyming for them to match the two words that sound the same um, at the end. So great um, opportunity there for your child to be able to practice the comprehension, pra practice the reading, do a little activity uh, activity along with the book. Um, but the idea is that you can read the book one time with your child and then do the first puzzle, read it a second time with your child, do the second puzzle, read the third and do the third puzzle, and then they've graduated from that book and they can move on to the next book um, and to the next level. So you can do that all in one day if you feel like your child is moving fast enough, um, if you feel like they need some time to you know, pause and, and do a little activity in between and then pick it up the next day, then you can move as fast or as slow as you feel like your child needs. So um, it's designed that way, which is wonderful. So that's that's the insights of what the books look like, where it's parent-child. I will tell you the first reading program, um, this last one, they don't have a parent-child set up that way. Um, this one, the child is reading on their own. 
Um, so you can see here, this is the first book and that's in that set there. Um, so, and actually about halfway through this series is when they start to read on their own as well. Um, I would definitely recommend that the parents still stay with their child and read with them um, so that they can work on that together. Let me show you one more thing here and you'll find things like this online at theveryfirstreading.com for this set here. But this is what the Start to Read pack comes with and ours is a little bit used. We've been working on it together with my child. So this is the alphabet chart that comes with it and in the activity book you'll see they have stickers. So once they've learned those letter sounds, and so in the first book she's done the eight letter sounds, so she, there's a little sticker for each of those that she gets to match up the letters and track her progress there. And then this is the activity book that comes along with it. So they have uh, tips for the parents and then they have activities for each letter sound and then they also have activities for each book that they can do and they have places for them to practice their letter sounds. I mean, sorry, to write their letters. So you can see it's just full of just fun. And the pages are nice quality. We actually stumbled upon, uh, upon a pleasant surprise when we were doing this that um, if you've used wipe clean crayons, you might be familiar that they dry really well, but then when you get them wet that you can wipe them off. This isn't designed to be a wipe clean book. However, with the wipe clean crayons, you can actually, if your child makes a mistake, um, you can wipe them off. We haven't tried it with a wipe clean marker yet. I don't think it would work quite the same, but the wipe clean crayons, it's kind of nice. And then at the very end of the book, they actually have a, pro a progress chart. So you can have a sticker for each book that your child has read so far, and this free little online game that also teaches letter sounds and word building, and they can track their progress there as well. So hope you um, enjoy, and if you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. Um, to order these, you can go to the website. It's www kidsenjoyreading.com and uh, you can also visit our Facebook page. It's facebook.com slash kidsenjoyreading. So hope to see you soon. Thanks.